My name is Paula, I'm an architect, I live here in Lombok. I run an office called Bambuka Studio. I'm a climate activist for years already. So I believe in you know, change in action and trying to improve things. The idea behind BSF Senko was to create a circular business model. I am an expertise in circular economy. Um, what we do in this project is that we take something that has no value, like organic waste in this case is food waste, and we convert it into something that has value. In our case it's compost and it's uh, protein feed for animals, for chickens and ducks and fish. The way we do that is by collecting organic waste from a lot of restaurants in Kuta who have been supporting us. They pay us to collect their food waste. We bring it to our facility and in our facility we use black soldier fly maggots. They are what we call BSF, a natural insect that their only job in life is to biodecompose organic matter. So nature created them for this purpose. So we raise them and we farm them as our little army of partners who, da, who do the crazy job for us. And they convert organic waste in nine days. So in nine days from waste, they make it into frass. Frass is their uh, poop and it's an organic fertilizer. And then we harvest the maggots before they become flies and we sell the maggots into protein feed for chickens and for fish. So that is a complete loop where we take something of no waste, which is the organic um, food waste. We feed it to the maggots, the maggots make compost. We also use the maggots for protein feed. And eventually, and this is the second phase of BSF Lombok, we are going to implement everything into an organic farm, a regenerative farm. We want to do a regenerative agriculture learning center so that people can realize what circular economy means. We take something that has no value and we make it into something that has value. And to use the compost, we want to use it into growing and this way we can collect again the food which will become food waste eventually which will feed again the larvae which will become protein feed which will produce compost and that miraculous cycle will continue forever and ever and will improve the lives of all of us. What are the main benefits from BSF farm? Right, so first of all, the most direct would be that we don't have organic waste and food waste in the landfill, right? Food waste and organic waste in landfill is responsible worldwide for 10% of the global greenhouse emissions. So if we were to remove all of the organic waste instead of throwing it to landfill, but try to bioconvert it somehow, then we will already be reducing 10% of the greenhouse emissions and Indonesia signed the Paris Agreement and needs to reduce their um, greenhouse emissions as well as we all need the world to reduce the greenhouse emissions. So that would be the first direct benefit that we get from that. But not only that, the process, because we're using insects, which have been designed by nature, which is the best designer of all, um, do the job for us. So in our BSF farm we don't need machines, we don't need electricity. So the impact of that process, if you compare it to the process of recycling in general, it's so low impact because the machines don't need fuel to work because they are the insects. The third benefit that we've seen in this project which has been something that we never foresee was the fact that this is a rural community. So there is a lot of people, local people, that have chickens and they have fisheries in their homes, that have ducks. And what happened after we created the BSF is that they realized that there was really cheap protein feed 
so they didn't need to spend so much money on their normal industrial feed for their chickens. Our feed is insects, is the maggots of the BSF. It's a natural feed. It has 43%, more or less, of protein, and the rest is fats, which are really health, healthy fats with lipids and ketosan. These are natural antibiotics for the, for the animals. So not only the farmer reduces their cost on feed, but also their chickens and ducks become healthier and they can be sold more expensive till the point that in our facility right now we have an army of women that work for free voluntarily work in the waste conversion process in exchange for maggots and they have created their own little farms of ducks and chickens and they sell them to Baroons. So there are 31 new businesses of organic ducks and chickens in Senkol that appeared just because we have the BSF center there. Another very important benefit that we get through this facility is that we produce organic compost. So this region that is you know undergoing a massive deforestation process because of this industrialized you know genetically modified corn planting invasion which has you know you know cut so many forests of Nusa Tengarabarat uh, NTB uh, it's using all of these chemical herbicides the glyphosate and a lot of very damaging uh, herbicides and we are trying to find, fight that once we make our uh, regenerative agriculture learning center, we're hoping that the local community will learn about best practices on farming, how to keep the soil, how to avoid erosion, how to not depend on chemical fertilizers, and how to grow food the most natural way and the most sustainable way. I think this is a learning that maybe the ancient Indonesians knew, but right now it's all lost. And I think this project is also trying to combat that through the learning of how nature does its circularity and regenerates gardens and landscapes and soil in particular. <laughs>